I, I think that when it comes to weaponry, there's no question that the quality or the sophistication of the weaponry really matters. Uh, if you're fighting World War II, you'd much rather have a Panther tank or a T-34 than an American Sherman. So the quality matters for sure. But as you know, the quantity matters as well. I mean, one of the reasons that the Soviets did so well in World War II is they were pumping out T-34 tanks like nobody's business. And the Germans could not pump out Panther tanks or Tiger tanks anywhere near as fast. And quantity matters. So there is a quantity quality trade off here, and you want to make sure that you have the quantity and the quality. Uh, and I am sure that the uh, Russians, when they look at the United States, worry about technology. And let's just go back to the early 1980s. Uh, when the Soviet Union saw itself in trouble vis a vis the American military. Remember, Marshal Ogarkov was greatly concerned that the United States was on the cutting edge of all these new technologies that were just coming out. And the Russians, for their part, were way behind the power curve in terms of developing these technologies. And Ogarkov believed that if the Russians didn't or the Soviets didn't catch up with the United States in some meaningful way, the American military would be far superior to the Soviet military. So even back then, uh, this sort of qualitative edge that you're referring to mattered greatly, and it matters today. But I want to say just one additional point on this, John, and this is to move away from the Soviet, excuse me, the Russian American case or the Soviet American case during the Cold War and focus on China. When we talk about the security competition between the United States and China today, it's very important to understand that that security competition has two dimensions to it. One is the military dimension, which we have been talking about. But there's also an economic dimension that involves high end technologies, cutting edge technologies. And what the United States is profoundly concerned about today with regard to China is that China looks like it might be able to outperform the United States when it comes to developing sophisticated technologies. So we are waging a wicked security competition with the Chinese, not over all forms of economic intercourse, but over intercourse that involves sophisticated or cutting edge technologies. So there you can see where we worry greatly, not only that those sophisticated technologies that the Chinese are developing will be used in their weaponry, but more importantly, I would argue that if they beat the United States in terms of developing these sophisticated technologies, their economy will grow much faster than ours. And the end result is that the power balance will shift between the two countries in China's favor because those sophisticated technologies are so important for driving gross national product. So it's very important to understand that Technology has an economic dimension, which has a security dimension, as well as a pure military dimension in terms of the weaponry that you develop.